Hello everyone, this is Raman. So in today's tutorial, we will, uh, it's basically part two for the check selector. So in the last lecture, we have seen that how to select a radio button and get its value. So same thing if we want to apply for the checkbox, then how to do. So let me remove this code and here instead of radio buttons, let me have the check boxes. So we'll say something else here. Select the courses and I will have here input type equals to checkbox and we'll give some name. We we'll give the name course. Of courses okay and we'll give the value we'll say dot net and we want to print a value dot net as well <laughs> same way input type equals to checkbox name equals to courses so actually you can copy paste this courses value equals to jquery actually in jquery j small q is capital so jquery I have another type equals to checkbox name equals to courses and value equals to say VB and VB is the value. Okay. So we have three buttons, the uh, three checkboxes, and underneath I have a uh, button, button control, which is a submit type. So when I click on this service, I want to select all the checkboxes. So I'll go over here on button click. Let me take a variable, say output equals to now I want to search the elements which is of input type checkbox. So I'll say input type equals to. So I'll write in the checkbox. Checkbox. Okay, so I want to select all the checkboxes, right? Um, now, if if there are check boxes, right? What I need to do? Da, 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 is there a problem? Yeah. And terminated constant. Okay. So this single code. Okay, I need to put a single code here. Yeah. So. Here now, next, what I need to do, I need to find the length of the means how many check boxes are there. So we have a div one here, so we can display over there. So I can say dollar hash div one, right? Hash indicates that get element by ID dot HTML. And here I want to print the how many checkboxes are there. So I would say that output dot length. Okay, so output dot length basically indicates that how many checkboxes has been selected. So sorry for the type mistake. 
Okay. So let us see what would be the result of this. So let me save it. Let me run it. So here we have, so it says there are three checkboxes. Okay, now I want to say that whichever I'm selecting, it will show those length only. So here we will use the checked selector. Okay, so I'll say plus selected checkboxes. Okay, let me save it. Let me run it. So let me select one. One checkbox is selected. Let me select two. It says two selected. Three selected. If I select none, and it says zero selected. So far, so good. Now, I want to see the value of each text box. So here, so far, we have checked three checkbox selected. And what are these three? We'll say BR. So I'm just putting a break, break line break. Now I want to go to each element, so we, which is selected. So I will. There is a each loop, which is very much similar to the uh, for each loop in our programming language. So what I'm going to do, each output. So what is the output contains all the checked checkboxes. So here, what I want to do, I need to execute a anonymous method. Okay. And within that method, I want to <coughs> display the value into the HTML or what we can do here uh, that we can store into a variable let's say output string something okay so the value gets stored over here and I don't want to store it into the div here Okay, so it stores this value so that I, I can display a little bit uh, proper way. So here, what I want to say, my output string equals to output string plus, I want to concatenate it to this. So that we can use plus equal to operator. Okay. So this assignment operator, and I am saying for each loop, see what it will do. It will go to each element. So it will loop through each element. So it will go to first, then second, then third, and so on. So to find the current element, we use this. Okay, And I want to find the value of this, value of this. And once I find the value, I want to put a break. right okay so that is what i want to do and once i get this string then i want to display it in a div so right after this we'll say uh, dollar div one dot 
not day one or I'll say hash day one because I'm getting element by ID dot HTML and what I want to print my output string okay so let us see okay so here I'll select this jQuery and VB and now you can see two selector checkbox jQuery and VB so if I select one three so it will replace with three if I select one you can customize your program if there is no check box is selected you can put if output length is less than equal to zero or equal to zero then you you can print the message in the same way d1.html equals to no messages has been selected thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe thank you very much